tip number 15, create a to-do file to list the changes in the next board version revision. I'm going to explain. Maybe it happened to you, it happened to me, and I know it happened to a lot of other engineers. Once you release a board, you will get feedback from the customers and they may uh, tell you that they would like to change something in future. Or once you release a board, maybe you find out that you would like to improve something in the next version, next revision of your board. And many times happen that uh, people, the engineers, they will tell themselves that they will remember these changes. Yeah, they, they say like, oh, this change, it is so clear. I will not forget to implement this change uh, when I will be doing new version of this board. In reality, they, what do you think? They will not remember all the changes or okay. Sometimes they may remember all the changes, but I've seen it many, many times that some of the changes would, uh, should be implemented in the next version or next revision. They were not because simply people forget them. Yeah. The best way how to do it, how to prevent this uh, kind of situation is make a list of the changes which you would like to do in the next version and in the next revision. Why they may forget about these changes? What do you think? Because the time between releasing the board and releasing next version or next revision of the board, it can be several years. Yeah. But many times these uh, new revisions are uh, released because, for example, one of the components is uh, end of life. So as I say, it may take years to release new new version and collecting all these uh, um, possible changes or improvements over all the years and keep it in the head that's not the best idea simple solution is this is what we do or this is how we do it in the project directory this is uh, imx6rex module project we have this uh, to do directory with the to do file. And basically, when we release this uh, IMX XRX module version 1, issue 1, always when we receive some feedback or when we find out something what we would like to change in the version 1, issue 2 revision of this board, we go into this file and we make a note like this. I'm going to open the file so you can see the changes. Yeah. These are the changes what we may want to think about when we will be working on the version 1 issue 2 of the IMX XRX module. Some of the changes are very simple, like this one here, yeah. change block diagram. Some of them may be more important, like this one, uh, replace these resistors with lower value. Yeah. Some of the changes uh, tell you what, uh, what should be the changes because, for example, during testing, we find out we would like to fit particular components, like you can see here. Yeah, these are the components which are basically used during mass production. So we will update the schematic, or this is just about the node. Not many changes, very simple changes. It's very simple to put the nodes inside this file. Just go into project, open this file, and put there the changes, and it's extremely helpful. Yeah, I've seen it uh, once, I remember it, once uh, when I used to work in a company, I remember like uh, one of the guys, he received the new version, new revision of the board, which he just done, and he was sitting there and he was looking at the board and say like, oh, I forget to implement this change. And immediately, completely new board, something was there what could be improved. And it had to wait for the next version of the board. So just use the list. Don't forget tip number 15. Create a to-do file to list the changes in the next board version or revision.
why it helps you to remember the changes. 